Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, I'm Mia and today I'm going to be doing a follow up from last week's video on Wednesday which was the in-depth face tutorial and that will be linked in the description box down below. Now today I'm going to be doing an in-depth eye tutorial which I'm just going to be doing a simple kind of brown eye, like smoky. I am going to be doing a cut crease but that is simply because I know a lot of you struggle with it so I thought now I'm doing an in-depth eye tutorial I might as well show you. Um, and I'll show you the easiest way to do it um, and for hooded eyes as well and certain things like that. I'll give you blending tips and all that jazz. But like I said this will just be focused on the eyes. Um, if you would like to see a face tutorial links in the description box. And I'm going to be doing my eyebrows off camera as usual, but like I've said before, if you would like to see an eyebrow tutorial, I can definitely sell one out for you. Just let me know in the comments down below, and I'm just going to do my eyebrows, and I'll be right back. I've just zoomed in and for brows today, I use the West Barn & Co Soap Brow. Um, so if I ever do do a soap brow like this, this is always what I use. I carved that out using a Bare Minerals Flat Matte Coverage Concealer Brush, which looks like that. And I use the P. Louise Base. Now, for eyes today, I'm going to be jumping into the Emma Mitchell palette. So, to start off with, I'm going to be taking this brush, which is the Morphe M506 brush, and going to the deepest shade. So... Um, I'm going to go into the shade Main to start off with, just dip quite generously in there and tap the excess off. Then you want to like pack, start off by packing. Pack that deeper shade on to how you want it and then really lightly, I mention this in nearly every video, hold your brush at the edge because you see if you hold it here close up like this you're not going to get a good blend if you hold it here you're going to get a better blend but not as good if you hold it much further down you get lighter pressure light pressure and you're actually more controlled no you just want to feather that out really lightly holding the brush like that as I said and as you can see that's really starting to blend out quite smoothly now so it's just a rough blend now I'm going to go back into that and just deepen it a little bit and just wiggle in that in the crease just to create a little bit more definition and bring it round a little bit more using the same technique to just lightly blend it out now, make sure you just lightly wipe that off. And now, I'm going to go into the shade Meh. Which is... <sighs> Meh is like a much lighter shade. So, I'm just going to be using the same brush, tapping it off. And then, packing that. It's like, my technique is so, the dark shade. Then, you could add another shade as like that shade. But I use... I, today, personally, I just want to use as few shades as possible. So I use a deep shade and blend it up slightly. Then go like halfway over this shade and halfway above it to blend it out. That's my favourite technique. And remember to dip in to the colour little and often. So picking up little bits at a time to get the best payoff. And just building it up. Now, I don't personally like to go over a heavy in the inner corner. It makes my eyes look small. So I just really lightly, oh, I just really lightly like to bring it in. And then feathering that up a little bit. When there's almost nothing on the brush. Just really sort of feathering that up. And I don't personally um, like to have a really white line so I almost wiggle that near the concealer to really blend it out now that is like a base almost for me now um, I know this is a step that people miss out a lot so this here 
might look fine for some people. Um, and I'm just going to show you the shades I've actually used. So I've used this shade to start off in my crease. Then I blended that out with this shade. Now, for the next shade, I'm going to be using a mix of macaroni and modest. So like a peachy sort of mustard shade. And I think these are kind of the best shades to blend any eye look out. So taking that on a Jaclyn Hill JH32 brush, tapping it off, dipping it into both of them like that. And now, again, at the end, and you just want to really feather everything together. Circular motions. To make sure that's all nice and smoothly blended. Now when it comes to the outer edge, I personally like quite a blown out look. There's not many times where I like a straight line. But if you do, my technique would be to be as messy as you want and then... Um, you could use tape if you wanted or I like to actually use concealer to carve it out but seeing as I'm doing a blown out look today you can just go a little bit messy and feather that out but as you can see now that's made a big difference and you might think oh yeah but where's the crease colour gone don't worry about it we go back in and I'm going to go back into Maine on the same M506 brush and just build that up using the exact same technique as before little and often and really light pressure but as you can see it builds up really nicely and remember to just really use circular motions they help blend a lot and then you know you can go back into the um, big brush. I'm going to be using the shade Meh now and just further in that. As you can see, I've brought a lot more warmth to it. And remember to get there. Now, don't worry about the eyebrow, I know it's a bit of a mess right now, but that's fine. So now um, I'm just going to be taking the same M506 brush again and dipping into Main and a little little bit of mafia tiny bit just to deepen the outer edge just a little bit more remember to bring it onto the lid a little bit i just want to deepen that slightly more ready for the cut crease so now i feel happy with the blend you know just to make sure that you've blended out every single little bit really brought that out Make sure you blend it in the inner corner, like that. And now we're going to do the cut crease. Now, you can use concealer for this, you can use anything. I personally like to use the P. Louise base as before. And I'm going to take it on the same brush, which is the Bare Minerals Max Coverage Concealer Brush. And just taking that quite generously, and just coating the brush, and it should look like that. Um. And, you know, you should try and use a brush similar to this as it does help um, the whole process really makes it a lot easier. Now, for hooded eyes, you can just swipe it on and then do that and then it'll give you the line. I do that as well sometimes, but it doesn't always work to me. So, you can do that and then, like well, I can see, I've got a little line there. So, that is going to be my guideline. So, now, you know, I keep dipping into the base always and tap And I like to have mine open there. And as you can see here, I've just brought that out a little bit. 
And now what we're going to do is just take the brush from the floor and just pat over the outer edge like that using whatever was left on the brush, not adding product and just tapping over there if you get a bit of concealer there don't worry just blend it away like that now that is a pretty simple cut crease um, that's probably as easy as it gets really now you can leave that plain or whatever but I'm going to be using a pigment today and this is the most wanted pigment by Peaches and Cream my favourite brush to pack on a pigment to a cut crease is the Jaclyn Hill JH41 brush which is like this and I just like to pack it on again the best technique is always um, a little at a time so you try and get as close as you can to the line as close but try not to go over it um, and then Bringing it all the way to the inner corner. And then here where the brown shades sort of meet, you just want to keep packing that on over the brown. And then to get that ombre effect, we're just going to be using that brush again to go over. And then I like to... I like to dip back into a little bit of mane and the black shade and just re-deepen there and just go over it once again and then taking the other brush and blending that out now if I've got a little technique for you so I don't know if there is any mistakes here but if I have gone over the line a little bit you can use one of these brushes um, and you can just go like this just to clean it up as you can see that's pretty sharp and it's got nice colours there just going to quickly do the other eye camera and I'll be right back so I've just done the other eye camera and now we're going to go straight into the under eye now for the under eye I like to use a little little bit of base and the same brush and I just like to get as close to the last line as possible don't get here especially if you're doing a blown out look and then if you've got any fallout don't worry because we're going to be covering it now and we just want to pat that out like that and then then I use a brush like this, it's just like a flat brush and I just use really light sweeping motions and when we get to here, blend inwards not outwards because we don't want to reflect the blend and then here is the same inwards not outwards and pattern that in like that and that's almost like a base you concealer as well. Now, under eye, honestly, there's not much technique to it. So, what I like to do is take a little pencil brush to start off with and do the exact same on the under eye as I did on the upper, on the top part of my eye. I don't know what to say for that. But I'm just using a pencil brush from Morphe going into main. Like that. Now, wiping that off a little bit and going into the shade Meh. Tapping that off and dipping in little and often. Blending that out. Now, I then like to go in with the M506 brush from Morphe and go into a bit of meh and a tiny bit of mane and just get in there and then finally 
wiping that off and going into the shades Modest and Macaroni to the lighter shades and just really blending that out. And remember to like kind of join the under eye up there, just right in the corner, just do a little circle motion, and that does it. So as you can see, I've just done both eyes off camera. Now I'm gonna be showing you my technique for gel liner, and this is the Inglot gel liner in shade 77, which is just the black shade. And I'm taking this on a Zoeva 317 wing liner brush. My technique is just Start as tightly as to the lash line you can get. And really try and get right in there. And then I just like to wing it to that. I don't like a wing, but that is like my ideal liner. like that super just I like to create quite a little thick wing with this type of look but I wouldn't always use line now I'm also going to be taking that just wiping a little bit of it off and then using this finger to pull my eye down slightly and I'm just going to be using the flat side of the brush and putting that in my waterline don't worry about that I'll cover that up later and then what I really like to do to make it nice and smoky is to use a flat brush which is the Jaclyn Hill JH43 brush and then take a little bit of black and a little bit of mane like that and then just really really tight almost blending that out And as you can see, that's really smoked it up. And then what I also like to do, just to keep it on longer, I like to just go into main, same brush, and I like to set my eyeliner, which for one makes it more intense, and for two makes it last longer. Like that. And then it's super matte. And you can also take that a little bit underneath as well. So guys, today, I don't normally do this, but I thought I would um, just show you how I apply my lashes. Now, what I do is I get the band like this and I move it like this and then turn it into like an S to really make it flexible. And then I just leave the glue to dry a little bit. I use the duo glue. And the lashes I'm using today are the Peaches and Cream number 22 lashes. Now, I like to take tweezers to apply my lashes. And I just put it in the centre like that, as close as I can to the last line. And that's how I apply my lashes. So I've now applied both lashes and I'm just going to be showing you how I apply my mascara. Now I'm using the roller lash today from Benefit. And I like to apply my bottom mascara first. And just wiggle that. 
I really like this mascara bottom lashes because you can really get in there. So then I'm going to do the same on the other eye. Now I dip them back in and I just like to take the tip to cover the band and then wiggle that up. Like that and then Sorry buddy, this is the finished look. I've just done some skin off camera. Um, all the products I've used on my face will be linked in the description box along with all the eyes and the lips as well. Um, I'm just going to give you a bit of an up close look. I really like these lashes. These were like super cheap um, from Peaches and Cream so I definitely recommend these. Um, I, I'm really happy with how this turned out. Nice glowy skin, bronzy eye and the best part is even though I haven't shown the face on camera today you can go and take a look at the video I did last Wednesday which will be linked in the description box. You can follow both of the tutorials along and get this look hopefully. Um, I really hope this was helpful. Um, if there's any tips that you think I've missed out or you'd like to see maybe more interesting cut creases, um, more colour, blending colour because blending colour and blending like brown eyeshadows is completely different as well so if you'd like to see that please let me know and I can definitely sort that out for you um, but I just thought this was a nice one to start off with and I really hope you've enjoyed it. I just want to say one last thank you for watching and if you have enjoyed this video please remember to like and subscribe and hit the bell to make sure you miss none of my future videos. I post every Wednesday, Friday and Sunday at 8.30pm and I just want to say one big last thank you for watching and I shall see you all in the next video. Bye guys.